Hey guys and welcome back to the episode 6 on our basics of streamed series. And today in this video we are going to look at how to receive the input from our user. Here in this episode we will receive all the different types of input that a user can give such as our input in the form of a text or in the form of a bunch of lines or the number input or either the date or the time input and also lastly we can also get the input from the user as a password too. And without any further ado, let's get started. Now let's look at how to receive an input from our user. So this is very much important while we are for create building a web application. So let's say receiving input there are many functions to receive an input and they change based on their needs so the first function we are gonna look at is the text input so text input and with which we can uh, get some textual values so such as uh, give your first name or enter your email address and something like that stuff so let's say fn and in which st dot text input and with which I will pass the message first. So enter your first name and let's save this. And now here we got a pop up telling enter your first name. So uh, I will type Adit and click enter to apply. And we can also use the following actions with the help of our if statement too and now let's look at the second parameter that is the max characters so chars and in which we can pass an in integer value so which helps us to restrict our user to a particular number of characters to give as an input so let's say 10 and let's save this so I will type Adit Adit and now here you can see that blinking pop up and when you try to type any value it won't exceed and now let's move on to our next function that is the text area so with the help of our text area function we can uh, get a message from our user so let's say message so st dot text and area so now let's say I will give the message give your feedback and then uh, if the and then the user will press enter so I need to take some action for that with the help of our streamlet I will uh, redisplay him this particular message so st dot write and I will pass this message so yeah must let's save this and now here we can see that we have a text area here and now we can give our feedback so the session was super cool and now we have to select control plus enter to apply and now here i got my message and we have a, another function named the number input which helps us to get numbers as our inputs so st dot number input and in which I will uh, ask him to enter your age and now I will just leave it for now and let's say this and here we got a pop up telling enter your message we can also type our age or rather we can use this plus sign too which increases the value from 0 0.01 and we have other parameters such as the minimum value so let's take the minimum value to be 5 and now here it starts from 5 and also the maximum value so let's set it to 50 maybe and now when i try to type 54 and plus enter here it shows an error that is the value must be less than or equal and to now 50. let's move on to an another type of input that is date so let's say st dot date input and in which 
I will ask the particular user. So when is your next flight? And let's save this. And now here I got a pop-up. And here we can give our input. So let's say my next flight is on July 3rd. So I got it. And we can also get the time as the input. So time and st dot time input. I will ask him when is your class time. And now I can choose my class time. So let's say my class time is at 10 o'clock. Right now this time is 7:12. It is showing that. So now we can change it. And lastly, we can also use uh, another parameter in our text input function. So let me show you. Uh, let's name it as password. This parameter helps us to create passwords. So let's say password and in which st dot text input and I will ask the user to enter your password. So here the difference is let's save this first and now here whatever you type so let's type one two three and it is exposed for the others two but when you use the uh, parameter named the type and if you set it to password and now you can see the difference here so here we got an i that is to show your password or not and now we got an suggest password e7d74 something like that and now you can see that the password is being hidden and when you sh try to show the password and you got it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Leave a comment down below and let's meet on July 13th with our episode 7. Stay tuned.